Hi everyone, it's Bobby. I have another small project for you using the Remember the Magic by Echo Park. This is a Country Craft Design Team uh, project. This is a very quick and easy folio. Uh, most of you that follow me know that I have a, um, a group on Facebook called Make Mine a Mini and I've received requests there as well as on uh, Facebook to make some smaller, more simple projects. Uh, many people are just starting out in the crafting world, so that's basically what this is. This is real easy to make in one day. No major cuts or flaps or flips. I mean, there are some flaps, but they're all straight cuts, so it's really easy. This is from the ephemera. This little heart was in a swap that I received some time ago, and I don't remember who sent it to me, but I thought it just looked really cute up there. This is one of the stickers, and I just used some circle dies and cut three different circles and matted it down and I punched out three little stars with the punch I have in my stash. Then these little banners I cut from one of the design papers. Now the spines are only a quarter inch so I didn't put any paper on those and then the back is where I got the little flags from on the front. Uh, the candy, the, I call them candy dots, they're really enamel dots but you remember when we were kids you used to buy candy on a long strip of paper it had these little dots. That's what I always want to call them candy dots. Oh, and I didn't let my glue dry and looky here my my key and lock came off. I'll put some more glue on it. I just didn't wait long enough. That's my fault. Let me put a clothespin on there. That's me getting in a hurry as usual. put a clothespin on it till it dries. So on the inside of that circle you see Mickey peeking out and this is a free download or free printable. I got off the internet as is the Goofy and you'll see some other characters throughout. I just put a little pocket on the inside of this flap. This is from the sticker sheet and I just made a simple photo mat and then there's two on the back. So when you open it out you have a mirror on the other side. This time I have Donald, one of the little ice cream bars from the treat stand, and the same type of photo mat journaling spot. Then on the center is where you have your flaps, but they're all straight cuts. I just put a piece of um, the design paper is trim and photo mats on each one. This is from the cut apart sheet. Some more of the design paper. Then when you go in here, we have Pluto. Isn't he cute? Again, from the cut apart sheet, the design papers. And then we flip over and we have the whole gang. Isn't that cute? I love this paper. It is so bright and cheery. It's really fun. And this is such a super easy um, folio to make. I did change the construction of the base. I did use a piece of lightweight chipboard inside the back panel I have actually have a pocket here that has a piece of chipboard in it just for stability and you can see that it's it's quite sturdy it doesn't bend and flip and flop around so if you're a beginner give this a try if you have any questions you can reach me on Facebook on Country Craft Creations Design Team or on um, send me a, a private message so um, I hope you'll make one stay uh, Stay connected with me because I've got I've still got enough paper to make another project and I had already made the game box with all of its contents. Now this one and I still have enough to make something else. So there will be another tutorial coming up shortly. Now stay tuned after the walkthrough and I'll uh, show you how I constructed the al album or the folio. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, for the base of this folio, you're going to have one piece that measures seven by nine and one piece that measures 7 by 10 and these are going to go together to make a pocket but sometimes on folios they're a little bit flimsy or they just don't feel real sturdy so I'm going to add a piece of lightweight chipboard to the inside of mine like this I've gone around across these two ends with a black marker just so that it doesn't show and I have attached some score tape to it and I cut it at 8 and 7 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths 
just so it will fit inside the edges. And whoop, don't go down yet. I want it to be just inside the edges. Like that, and it looks like I might have to cut a little. No, it doesn't show. I thought I had a little crooked, and I probably do, but uh, because I've coated it with black ink, it doesn't show. And there's some glue. Okay. Now this is going to glue to these two folded over sections here, and all this will be on your cut list, and I've given you score lines as well. So this will attach to that. And see how much more sturdy that is instead of just... You know what I'm saying? It, it, do, it does help. At least I feel like it does. Actually, might have to do some glue tip surgery here. It's not flowing the best. Alright, let's put some glue down here. Now, I'm just going to do a tutorial this time on building the folio. And then I'll do all my decorating and cutting of papers off camera. And I will come back and show you at the beginning of this video the finished project. Because you may want smaller or larger margins than what I use. You may have a different paper. You can use whatever you want. It really doesn't make any difference. And let me burnish that. I'll use this one because it's handy. And then we'll put some glue down here. I'm kind of squiggly here this morning. And just fold this right over. Make sure your corners match up. Get it nice and straight. Or as straight as we can. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got the base of our folio, and it's nice and sturdy. Now we have two pieces, two pieces that measure. One of them is they're both eight and seven eighths in height. One is four wide, and one is four and a quarter. You can either have the larger one on the left or the larger one on the right. Whatever your preference is, it doesn't make any difference. You can overlap it from right to left or left to right, whatever. Whatever you desire. Now, it's going to sit right inside this little pocket. So, I do want to snip just a hair off of the corners. Not all the way to the score line, just the point of each one. Just helps it slide a little bit. To each of these, I cut a little strip of 3 8 inch um, lightweight chipboard, and I'm going to put it right in this little gusset, just to give it a little bit more stability, a little more strength, and I cut it just shy of the length, and I went over it with the black marker as well. Looks like this one's a little bit longer than it needs to be. I don't want any glue showing there. No, it's not too long. I thought I was going to have to trim it off. And let's do this one. Well, I'm wiggling everywhere with these, ain't I? With the glue. <laughs> Alright, right in there. Just right in that little gusset, that little area. It just gives it more strength so that it's not kind of folding over on itself. Now, you don't have to do this. It's just something I like to do. Okay, 
Now, to glue these in place, we're going to put glue on the underside here. slide it right in your pocket. And bring it up to your little fold. And it'll be just a hair short of the top and bottom. Alright guys, uh, to finish this folio up, apparently I wasn't recording when I put these flaps down in the center. Where I had stopped with the tutorial was putting this first flap in. This one is done the same way on the opposite side to repeat. For these flaps, I wanted to make sure I gave you this because a lot of people are just starting out and they wouldn't really know where to start. So what I did to start with is I took uh, the lar of the larger two flaps. Uh, they're each scored at a half inch and I put the first one on the left side down about a quarter inch from the top and just attached it with my art glitter glue. Then I went to the opposite side came a quarter inch up from the bottom and added the other large one. Then these small ones just sit center of the larger ones. See how that works? Excuse me, and this one the same way. I was just getting ready to post this, and I was going through the uh, editing phase and saw that it didn't record. I don't know why, don't have a clue. Every now and then I seem to have an issue recording. I, I don't know what I do. I swear I don't. But nonetheless, that's how I put this together. It is super simple and easy. And I sure hope you'll give it a try and share your finished project with me. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And again, if you have any questions, I'm on Facebook, YouTube. YouTube. Um, you can send me a message. You can get me through Country Craft Creations. Um, whatever your heart desires. Um, if you have a question, don't hesitate to, to contact me. And I'll be glad to help you out as best I can. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.